Hey guys, welcome back to Dream Daddy. So, from last time is that we lost Matt in a crowd, I believe, and here he is. So, let's continue. Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Almost lost you, buddy. Ew, I got really nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah. PUP really brings out a crowd. So you go to the concerts a lot? Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it put I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Oh. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which it was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the rest of yeah, I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Oof. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever gonna find Matt now? What the? Everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta get there without being trampled by all these rowdy youths. What? Wait, do I have to move? Oh! Oh no! Um... Oh god, oh god. This is the part of the oh god! Oh, I thought that was pills I need to get. Huh? I need that heart! No, I won't get that heart! You're chasing after me! Oh, I need that. So we add the, the song that you're listening to right now. Ow, ow, ow. Oh no no, get that, get that, get that. You think it's better than risking content ID. Ow! They're trampling over me! I have to like dodge like this, bro. Ah, why did I went back? No! No, I missed the heart! It's like footage of NES and SNES games lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now. But you'll get it, I promise. You should really go check it out. Oh my gosh, how long do I have to do this? 20 seconds? No, I missed it! No! 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 Do I right, right? Go, 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 go! Oh gosh. T1. I survived! I got us. What? I got an S plus? Let's go! I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd, to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot, well, I guess I should keep look- I bump into from behind, and I find myself into the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle to the music. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, a youth shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving into the circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. Another youth slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled under the boots of cu counterculture. Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back onto my feet. You're wild, dude. Matt shows his arm around me and we jump back in a circle, bashing into the youths left and right as Pup plays a killer solo. 
I didn't know you messed with the pit. Me neither. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physically activity. Oh, physical activity. But I'm having fun. The song ends and the pit finally dis dissipates. Everybody cheers on Pup. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for the one song. <laughs> Alright man, let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pup put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey, I'll meet you go I'll meet you outside. Gotta say bye to a couple people. I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Matt hands me the t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Whoa, thanks man. Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. And I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a, a reward. The youth, finally, uh, will, the youth will finally accept me. I'm gonna love this. I never take this off. <laughs> I would say that you I uh, Yeah, I think. I'll go for that one. Finally, I will be able to infiltrate their ranks and defeat them not only on the field of battle, as he had done with today, but on a grander scale. We'll see in the world pit, youths. Hey, Matt! Hey, it's Pup! This is how they. <laughs> okay, um. Hey, you didn't realize you were here. I'm so glad I can make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks! Well, see you around. Wait, you know Pup? Oh yeah, met them a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa! Come on, let's grab some dinner food. I suddenly realized just how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. Matt and I walked to a tiny little dinner with a cute neon sign. We turned to some bacon and eggs in a corner boot. So there I am in the pit trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo. But he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally wasn't red. He's lumbering towards me and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? Then, out of nowhere, I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms. And just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should have seen that look on his face. Bought him a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on the social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you could work it out. Yeah, man. Just goes to show you that Punk's not dead. And just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. So how do you get to see all those of these? How do you get to see all of these amazing concerts? Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa, yeah. I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of pe friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to take, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. How's Carmen Tika? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. It'll be loud, and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. I'm trying to be supportive of Carmen Cynthia's rebellious phase, but I get that kind of defeats that per the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against each other. Oh, no, to together. I mean, together. What? <laughs> How do I said each other? Okay. Like what? Mm. Fashion? Consumerism? Big budget remakes of foreign I like fashion. You can always fly in the face of the fashion industry. That's a good anti establishment option. Matt gestures to my outfit. I think you got that one covered, dude. I'm hurt. I thought I was among friends. He and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy dinner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner, I absolutely hitting the spot. Man, being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. Yeah, I just... I don't know. 
I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Mike gets nervous talking to people? But he's so cool. Me too. I never really considered myself an extrovert and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. Ah, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know that? I smiled. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac back to our respective houses. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it, although I'm probably gonna feel it in my knees in the morning. Ha, <laughs> you and me both. I, uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Right, I'm calling I'm calling it quits for tonight. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool. I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Hey, pops, how was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. You don't say. Amanda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. Blind leading the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me which one of us just tore it up in the pit at a punk show and which one of us just, which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition? First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Second of all, you moshed in the, the pit? Who even are you? I am your extremely cool dad. Alright, I'm hitting the hay. Pops, I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. Ah, that was a good fun day. Oh my gosh, how much points! I got a rank A. Woo! Wait, do I have to like date every single one of them and get good ranks? I'm confused. Yeah. While I'm doing my afternoon work. With that work? <laughs> While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple letters and a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. Hey, my coupons. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kinda busy right now, can you come back later? Okay, just thought you want this big old envelope we got from I HIA. Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Wow, her room is so cute! Horn Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. And... The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't- I got in! Oh! I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview and your, your photography is incredible. Aww. Wait, Dad. Aww. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment, HIA was one of the most expensive schools that Amanda applied to. But I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Aww. Really? Qu of course. Amanda hugs me again. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight dinner, your choice. Whenever, whenever, wherever you want. Yeah. Wherever? Amanda and, I, Amanda and I walk along the base side, tearing into our foil wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. You could have chosen anywhere in the Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a riddle with a view. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby and there's a discount if you bring your student ID and... Amanda, slow down, you're gonna choke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? And we get all that professional photo editing software for free! It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. 
but I wish she wouldn't do in between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her how to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take that survey online and they match you with someone with a sim similar major and interest. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home on one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new friend exchange student back who had a really bad cop that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. Carl ruled. Oh, they let you have the animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one? I bet I could forge one. I think I get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake? Or maybe both. Would the snake eat the rabbit though? Oh boy, I think I'll leave it all that up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had to talk with Mr. Vega. Huh? Sorry, I have to take a drink. <laughs> he didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Huh? I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but... I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need to that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay, I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the paranormal occur occurrence. Well, it'll be worth if I get to see you. My eyes immediately roll up with tears. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now and you're such a good person and I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. Dad, I cry I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make me it's gonna make it taste sad. I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Love ya, kiddo. Love ya too. Pops. Aww. Uh, what? Can I go again on a date with him? Wait, okay, I have one heart with him already. Wait, Craig. Hello, Amanda's dad. It's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports. I have a nice and smart children who are good at computers. Ah, man, great to hear from you, buddy. What's up? I'm still storing... Strong. I am strong. Ha, <laughs> don't know I know it. Say, I've been reading up about whey protein. You got that, you got use, wait, you use that all, what? Okay, you use that at all? I shrink it and help me develop a bit more muscle. Yes, I know what that is. My children are having a tea party and they wanted to invite Amanda, but we can't find her on, on here. You're also invited. Physical, physical invitation to follow. Cool, I'd love to come. I'll let Amanda know. Thank you, Amanda's dad. Let's go! The party! Coffee time! You know dads love coffee. Gonna brew myself something black as midnight on a moonless night. I put on a fresh pot and work on a few word jumbles while I wait for it to brew. Hey! This one spells sorrow. Dad, ready for today? I'm ready for every day, sweetie. Gonna tackle it head on. Hmm. No, are you ready for the thing that we're gonna do today? The thing that you promised you'd do? Honey, I already told you that I'm not gonna throw away my Tom Clancy novels. They're just stacked in the living room. I keep bumping into them and knocking them over and you don't even read them. Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. The tea party, dad. Nope, I don't remember that. Craig's kids, that hand-drawn invitation. Amanda walks over to the refrigerator and comes back with a hand-drawn invitation on a sheet of computer paper, inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to a tea party. They spelled cordially wrong? Just put on some going outside pants and let's get going. I can go outside in sweatpants, nothing's stopping me. Dad, just... Ugh, I'll see, I'll see you in a minute. I mean... It's fine, I'm a dad. I can do anything I want. 
What did I say about the pants? I'm a rebel, sweetie. Whatever, I'm sure you'll be fine. Hello, thank you for coming to our tea party. I do my best bow and present my daughter, who takes them with a curtsy. This way, please! Byron and Hazel lead us to a small table with tiny chairs. Some are occupied by stuffed animals and Matt and his daughter, Carmen Sita, are here too. Matt raises a comically small plastic teacup at me. Hey dude, how's the tea? The imagery tea is absolutely wonderful. I taste a hint of lemongrass. Hello, Carmen Sita. Hello, Mr. Amanda's dad. Did you just wake up? Uh, no. Why? Those are inside pants. Amanda laughs. Please have a seat. I sit down between Amanda and Matt. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this chair. Hi, everyone. I turn to see Daisy and Brian enter into the backyard and takes a seat next to me, to, next to us. Sorry, we're late. Daisy and me, but... Wait, Daisy made me put on my going on side pants. Amanda punches me on the shoulder. See? Oh, so you approve of cargo shorts when they're on Brian, but not when they're on me? Dad, you're embarrassing me at the tea party. This is a high class affair. But, shush, it's about to start. Thank you all for taking this time out of your busy schedules for some high tea. Now, if you all put on your des designated tiaras, there are little tiaras sitting on everyone's plates. Well, except for Brian's, his is a softball helmet. Okay, wait. Um. Oh, we ran out of tiaras. I don't think this is going to fit me, but I appreciate the thought. Dad, you're royalty. Please act like it. Brian tries to balance the little fielding softball helmet on top of his head, but it immediately tumbles off and into the bushes. I'll get that later. Hey, everybody! Craig comes out with a teapot and a tray of sandwich cookies. Dad, is the tea ready? Uh, yeah, it's been um steeping for a while now. Awesome! Would you girls like to serve your guest, I your guest tea? No, thank you. We much appreciate our servant's help. Craig leans over to me. That's me. Craig places teacups in front of all of us and a single sandwich cookie onto each of our plates. He pours some tea into my cup. Hmm, awfully fluorescent for tea. I click my teacup in mats and take a sip. Good lemonade. It's tea. Right, very good tea. I lean over to Amanda, who's happily enjoying her tea. So, what do we do at tea parties? Hmm. We enjoy the slanders of upper class society, father. She takes a dainty bite of her own sandwich cookie. Marvelous. S so, the meeting of princesses has been called to, uh, to order. Here, here. But I'm a real princess. I hunt and stuff and I have like a really cool sword. Can I be a space princess? I'll allow it. And I'll be a rocket star princess. I'm also space princess. Can there be more than one? Space is pretty big, don't you think? I changed my mind. I want to be a space princess too. Huh? Dad, what are you? Do I get to be a princess? Duh. Well, I guess that makes me... Mm, history channel? That's boring. Rude boy princess? I'll be a hacker princess. That sounds cool. I surf the information super high wide on my cipher cyber deck, hacking into mainframes and unleashing havoc on the mega cars of the dystopian neo metropolis. I also rollerblade everywhere. I think I'll be a landscaper and general contacting princess. Barista princess reporting for duty. Hey everybody, Crossfit princess here. Not now, servant. If it weren't for the princess uprising, it would be your serving me. We set up tea for a little longer and then the girls were enough to fight dinosaurs as big rock star warrior princesses, I think. They grew up so fast. It was like yesterday that I was helping Amanda throw her own tea parties. Did she make a servant did she make you a servant too? You betcha. Carmen Tita made me actually brew tea for her. Pitfalls of owning a coffee shop. 
Pitfall. Your custom blends are amazing. That hibiscus one you gave me a while back was a choice. Aw, oh, thanks. It's really nice that girls are getting along. Yeah, I'm really glad we move into this community. We are too. A man has been kind of a role model to them, you know? I hadn't even realized, and I didn't even know if Amanda does either, but I guess they're right. All of the girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She used to go out of her way to play with them. I am so proud of her. You better not proud that I cry at this tea party, Dezo. I brought extra weird jumbles if anyone wants to kill some time while the girls play. The day rolls on and the girls are all get tuckered out. Tuckered out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking their pictures, promising that she'll send them the best ones later. We all clean up and help put away the tea sets and tables. Then head out as Daisy and Carmencita fall asleep on their dad's shoulders. Take care, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye, hacker princess. You want dinner? Nah, I filled up on cookies. Me too, I'm tired. Dude, same. Playing with a bunch of little kids who all simultaneously want your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting. But in a good way, but also in a kind of scary way. How so? I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior for them. I don't want to let them down. Is this because you still feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? I corrupted her, dad. She secondhand smokes now. Well, those kids really look up to you. I'm glad they have you as a role model. Shucks, Pop. I ruffle on Mendo's hair. Welcome. Oh. You've got dads. Okay, so... Should I... Message one of them? So I, can I go another one on, on, with Matt? Or should I just like... Do like... Message all of them? Actually, no! Let's talk to Joseph. We didn't talk to him for a while. Then we'll talk to Matt again. Because, like, those are my two favorites. Because they're the nicest to me. His family's a little weird, but Joseph seems... That. But Joseph seems cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait. How do I hang out with a priest? I don't go to church. Should I be Jesus-y? I imagine Joseph's family staring at me as I fumble to some sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not to a Jesus-y, a light smothering of Jesus. Will he want me to pray? Is he going to pray at me? Do I, do I have to pray at him? Talking to Joseph, huh? Gah! Amanda, how many times have I told you not to sneak up on me like that? I selectively ignore it every time you do pops. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the screen. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. But I've never been friends with a priest before. What do I talk about? My favorite Bible passages? Ice cream socials? Cactus? First of all, he's the youth minister with a tattoo, not a priest. There is a difference. You're overthinking it, Dad. Just listen. Put it like this. Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for the invite for the invite to the BBQ. I'd love to hang out soon if you're not too busy. Isn't that a little too business casual? Fine, fine. Give me the keyboard. I got this. Amanda focuses on the key. Hi, Joseph. It was great meeting you and your family. I'm still new around here, so if you'd like, I'd love to hang out and get to know you. See ya. The smiley face. No, the smiley is a nice touch. Almost immediately, I receive a response. What'd he say? Hi, Dezo. If you're not do doing anything in a bit, the kids and I are baking treats for the church bake sale today, and we'd love to have you over. It'll be a blast, so let me know, Joseph. Huh, that wasn't so bad. He uses a lot of exclamation points. I am more concerned about him signing his name with a, t with a t child. <laughs> I'm willing to let it slide this time. I respond back. Sounds like fun, Dezo. Great! Come on by the house as soon as you're ready. We'll be here. Well, guess I'm doing this. Mm. Save a brownie for me? Promise you promise you won't sneak up on me anymore? A meta stares at me unblinkly. I don't make promises I can't keep. A real to a fault pops. And dad, please don't be weird about the rel rel the religion thing. Me? Weird? Never. 
Okay, guys, we're gonna stop here, and we're gonna see what happens next when we're gonna try to help out with Joseph and his kids on baking sweets for the church. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and like and subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!